Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to install IntelliJ IDEA on Windows 10, okay? So in order to install this IntelliJ IDEA, first of all we have to install Java JDK, okay? So let's install Java JDK first. So for this guys, you have to open your web browser, okay? And you have to open this website google.com, okay? And you have to do a search for Java JDK, okay? And here we have this Java SE downloads. Click on this link. Okay, and here we have this Java SE downloads page opened. Okay, so in this tutorial, we are going to install this Java platform JDK 12. Okay, and here we have this link. Click on this link. Okay, and you can see that here we have this page opened of Java SE development kit 12 downloads. Okay, and you have to scroll down. Okay, guys. And here we have this Java SE development kit 12.0.2, okay? And here we have the accept license agreement. So just click on this to accept the license agreement. Uh, thank you for accepting the Oracle Technology Network License Agreement for Oracle Java SE. You may now download this software, okay? So guys, we are on Windows. So you need to download this, you know, uh, .exe file. And also guys, they have this, you know, zip file also but uh, I'm going to, you know, download this uh, .exe file of JDK, you know, 12.0.2, okay? So let me click over here. And let me select the destination where I want to save this file, okay? So I want to save this file on my desktop, so I need to click on this to select it. And after that, click on this save button. And at the bottom left of my browser, you can see that it's downloading, so I need to wait. Okay guys, you can see that the file has been downloaded. So let me go to my desktop. Okay. So here is the file of JDK 12.0.2, uh, the exe file. So in order to run this, uh, just double click on this. And guys, here we have this window preparing to install. Okay guys, so here we have the welcome to the installation wizard for Java SE uh, development kit 12.0.2. So just click on this next button, okay? And guys, this is the location where Java JDK will be installed. Uh, C program files, Java JDK 12.0.2, okay? And guys, if you want to change the location, you can click on this change button and you can select your location. But in this tutorial, I am going to uh, leave this as default, okay? And after that, click on this next button. And you can see guys here we have the status, it's installing, so I need to wait for this, okay? Okay guys, you can see that here we have this message, uh, Java SE Development Kit 12.0.2, 64-bit successfully installed, okay? So just click on this close button, okay? So let's check which version of Java is installed on our system, okay? So for this, you have to click on this search box and just do a search for command prompt, okay? And here we have the command prompt app, click on it to open it, okay? And guys, in order to check the Java version, you have to type this uh, Java space dash dash version, okay? And hit enter key on the keyboard. You can see guys, I am getting this message. Java is not recognized as an internal or external command, okay? So how we can fix this issue? So we have to set the environment variable. So let me close this command prompt, okay? So in order to set the environment variable, uh, you have to open the control panel first, okay? So just click on the search box and just do a search for control panel, okay? And here we have the control panel app, click on it to open it. And guys, it's opened. And you have to select this, you know, category option. If you have this large icons or uh, small icons, you know, selected, just like this category, okay? And here we have this system and security. Click on this system and security and then click on this system. And here we have the advanced system settings. Click on this link, okay. And here we have the system properties window opened. Click on this environment variables, this button, okay. And here we have this uh, system variable, okay. And here we have this, you know, path variable. Click on this path variable to select it and then click on this edit button, okay guys. And after that, guys, you have to go to the directory where you have installed your 
uh, Java JDK. Okay, so let me open my file explorer and uh, let me go to my C drive program files and then Java. Okay, and here we have this JDK. So let me open this and here I have this bin folder. So I need to copy this, you know, path. Okay, let me close this window and I have to go to this edit environment variable uh, this window and after that let me click on this new okay and let me paste that path over here okay and after that click on this ok button click on this ok button click on this ok button and let me close this window okay guys and if i open my command prompt okay let me open this and if i type this java space dash dash version and hit enter you can see guys i'm not getting that error and it's showing me the java version you can see java 12.0.2 is installed okay so let me close this okay guys so the java jdk is installed uh, let's install intellij ide okay so in order to install this intellij ide first of all we have to download this setup file of this okay so for this just open your web browser or uh, let me close this okay and just open google.com okay and just do a search for intellij okay and here we have this intellij idea the java ide for professional developers by jetbrains okay you can see it's available from a jetbrains.com click on this link okay so it's opened and here we have this download button click on this download button okay guys and here we have this download intellij idea uh, for windows okay it is available for mac and also linux but in this tutorial uh, we are going to install this on windows okay and guys here we have this you know two versions uh, ultimate and community version okay so here we have this commercial version you can check out the features okay and here we have this open source apache 2.0 uh, this you know community version okay so uh, this ultimate version is paid if you like you can check out the free trial but in this tutorial i'm going to install this community version okay uh, for gvm and android development okay and here we have this exe file you can also download the you know zip file also but uh, i'm going to download this dot uh, exe file okay so let me click on this to select it and here we have this message thank you for downloading intellij idea okay so let me select the destination where i want to save this exe file so i want to save it on my desktop so i need to click on this to select it and after that click on this save button and at the bottom left of my browser you can see it's downloading so i need to wait for this okay guys you can see that the file has been downloaded so let me go to my desktop okay so here we have this file okay of intellij idea okay uh, the exe file so in order to run this uh, just double click on this okay guys and here we have this uh, do you want to run this file yes click on this run button so it's verifying installer so i need to wait for this okay okay guys so here we have this welcome to intellij idea community edition setup uh, click on this next button and here we have the destination folder where this you know will be installed okay and if you want to change the destination folder you can click on this browse button and you can select your you know folder but uh, in this tutorial i'm going to leave this as default okay and then click on this next button and here we have this installation options okay configure your intellij ide community edition installation okay so here we have this create a desktop shortcut 64-bit launcher yes i need to i want this so i need to click on this to select it okay and here we have this update context menu add open folder as project i don't want this right now okay and here we have this create associations uh, uh, dot java dot groovy dot kt okay uh, i don't want to create associations right now so i'm leaving this as default and here we have this update path variable restart needed 
I don't want this okay so I'm leaving this as you know default I'm only selecting this option 64 bit launcher create a desktop shortcut for this okay and after that click on this next button and here we have this choose start menu folder so I'm leaving this as default and after that click on this install button and you can see guys it's installing so I need to wait for this and you can see here we have the shortcut created so just wait for this to finish it and you can see guys here we have this completing IntelliJ IDEA community edition setup okay so it's now done and here we have the shortcut created uh, run IntelliJ IDEA community edition yes I want to check this and then click on this finish button so it's launching and you can see guys here we have this little screen okay so I don't have any previous installation of IntelliJ IDEA okay so I need to select this do not import settings and then click on this OK button and here we have this uh, set UI theme okay so here we have the dark uh, this you know dark color this dark theme and here we have the light theme okay so I'm selecting this you know light theme by clicking over here okay and then click on this next uh, you know default plugins this button okay uh, tune IDEA to your tasks okay so here we have some you know uh, plugins but I'm not gonna install this right now okay uh, so let me click on this next featured plugins okay so here we have some featured plugins but I'm not going to install this right now okay so let me click on this start using IntelliJ IDEA okay you can see it's opening and you can see guys here we have this window uh, welcome to IntelliJ IDEA okay so let's create one hello world Java project okay so let me click on this create new project this link okay so here we have this window opened and here we have this Java selected okay and you can see guys here we have this project SDK uh, you know this Java uh, JDK already selected okay so we installed that and guys if you don't find your Java JDK over here you can just click on this new and just go to the directory where you have your java installed okay and you can select that so in my case it's already selected so let me click on this cancel okay and after that click on this next button okay guys and here we have this create project from template i'm not selecting right now uh, this option uh, let me click on this next button and here i have to provide the project name so let me provide the project name so let me type this my java project okay and here we have the project location and after that click on this finish button okay guys so it's opening so you can see here we have this loading project uh, let me maximize this so it's maximized okay and here we have this tip of the day this window okay so if you like that you can you know check this option you can see it's already selected show tips on startup okay and you can just click on this next tip but I'm you know closing this right now this window okay and here we have this my Java project so let me double click on this okay and here we have this my Java project so let me create one Java class so let me expand this uh, my Java project okay and here we have the src folder so let me click on it to select it and after that right click on this and then click on this new and here we have the java class click on this java class and here we have this new java class window opened so let me provide the name of my java class uh, hello world okay and here we have the class selected and after that hit enter key on the keyboard and you can see guys here we have this hello world dot java you know file created okay so let me create the public static void main psvm okay and after that hit enter key okay and let me type s out system dot out dot println and after that hit enter you can see it's now uh, printed 
and in quotes I need to provide this uh, hello world okay okay guys so in order to run this file I need to right click over here and here we have this run hello world dot main okay so if I click on this and you can see it's you know running and you can see guys here we have this output hello world okay and also guys let me minimize this and also guys you can run it uh, by clicking on this button so if I click on this button run so it's you know running over here and you can see we have this output hello world okay so guys it's now done uh, in this way you can easily install IntelliJ IDEA on Windows 10 so thanks for watching if you like my videos please support this channel by subscribing to it thanks bye bye